What's up everyone, welcome to Jolly Kitchen, my name is Kiet In today's episode, I will show you how to make this coconut spicy prawn And if you're ready, we're gonna start jumping right into the cooking Alright so everyone, welcome to Jolly Kitchen with Kiet It's been a while since my last update I feel a little bit like burnout lately And I want to step away from uh, cooking a little bit and um, just to give myself a free time to do to explore the other things that um, I haven't actually like had a chance to do I think it's a good time for me to return to into the cooking and it's kind of like helped me a little bit more with um, uh, thinking and everything else and I really enjoy cooking it's kind of keep me focused also I would like to share my recipe that I make to you know all of you guys and let's move on and in the next step I'm going to show you how to make the, the Thai red curry paste which is quite easy and you can find these all ingredients in the Asian market and um, there are key ingredients that we are going to need to make the chili paste the first thing is um, lemongrass and the second one is galango and Third one is the shallot or red onion and whatever you can find in your local supermarket. And the third one would be kaffir lime. So kaffir lime best is to use the fruit, but if you don't have the fruit, you can also substitute kaffir lime leaves. It also gives the same, pretty much the same, the fragrance and the, in terms of like the smells and um, aromatic and the last one is going to be chili so in this recipe I will be using the dry chili but the dry chili will be uh, soaked in the warm water so make it really soft and and when you um, make the paste it will be easier to blend all the ingredients together all right and once we got all the ingredients and we're going to prepare by chopping to make it really small and easier to make I would encourage you to make your own uh, curry paste any kind of Thai curry paste made by yourself you know the step is pretty much very much the same so next time you remember how to you know pick the ingredients plus size on that one that you don't have to worry about the additive that they put into the curry paste no I'm talking about if you buy from supermarket it's already um, pre-made so you don't really know what they really put in there it's, it's uh, make sure you squeeze up the water out from the chili And today I will use the blender because I want a really really fine um, chili paste so I will add the rest of the prepared ingredients into the blender so we'll blend together until it's pure or smooth and to make it easier make sure that you add um, some salt and then add a little bit of water this will um, ease that when you blend this so all right um, in the next step this is where the adaptation is comes really close with um, Todman Bla or the Thai fish cake that I will add the holy basil holy basil is quite hot it's like slow burn after you eat it and it really has a strong medicinal benefit a little bit about Thai cuisine we add a lot of herbs in there this is a cafe lime leaves so I'll just stack them up and then thinly slice so I am going to add this into my mixture as well so I just put on the side for now to make even more aromatic
Now, um, this recipe requires a uh, prawn. If you are allergic to kind of like you know seafood, you may change the ingredient to use fish instead or um, like something else. And today I use a, a pure raw prawn. It comes frozen, so I defrost it and then just put into a mortar and pestle. I'm going to grind it until it's really nice um, chunky face. I don't want to put it into the blender because I don't really want it to be like puree. I want to have a little bit of a piece of prawn still remaining there <laughs> just to know that this is the ingredients I put it in, all right? And once I've got the, the prawn paste, almost like a paste here, I am going to start adding all the rest of the, the ingredients. I'm going to start off by adding the, the red chili paste by May. Now, um, it depends on you, how hot can you take it. Um, I eat quite um, spicy food, so I love my chili, so um, I add quite a lot. It's up to you, uh, so just try, taste and try, and let's see how hot can you take the chili. If you add a little, just you know, add a lot more. And then I'm going to sprinkle some of kefir lime leaves there. This were thinly sliced before. And this will add a lot of aromatic. And to seasoning is really simple. Um, I'm adding this chicken stock powder here. And then we'll add a little bit of sugar to just to balance things out because in the chili paste we add the salt so we don't need to add any more like saltiness into this so then just mix it until it's all well combined into really one um, thick paste soup. all right so, um, so once it's all well combined I will move on to the next part now I will add some of the holy basil leaves. It's going to add really nice um, aromatics and really fragrance and it's really slow burn. You know, this is not a torture recipe, okay? Um, if you know Thai food, there are a lot of elements that we'll put into uh, in one recipe. You've got a lot of things going on with the chili paste, ingredients, and then you add some of the fresh herb in there, so it's really beautiful. And next part, I am going to start um, making a, the prawn ball. So I will add the, the shredded coconut here. This is comes in a package from the supermarket, so they're quite dry. I will use this one instead of bread crumbs. So, um, just pick about um, how just pick a small portion from the batter here and then you roll over the shredded coconut. So, the size depends, but the ideal size I would say um, should not be bigger than the table tennis size or uh, the ping pong size, or maybe smaller than that would be really really nice so you want to make a, like a bite size so you pick up and you roll in your your palm like this so it should sit like that well so it works we're going to um, fry it in the low to medium heat so, so just turn the heat up to a uh, medium and then reduce the heat to low so this one going to cook really really fast make sure once you drop into the hot oil um, keep an eye on it because it's burned really quick the low heat will keep things nice and slow and cook evenly and then it will gradually browning this ball and it's cooked on the inside When it's done, just remove from the oil and then it's best to serve 
right after it's cooked. All right, we're gonna start garnishing this and uh, start serving this delicious balls now. Well, who said home cooked meals can't look good? Well, look at this. And what do you think? This is the end result from my cooking today. This is coconut spicy prawn. And um, it's really nice if you want to make a finger food party and if you want to add a new addition recipe into your repertoire. And this is going to be a really nice. And um, I hope you enjoy what you're seeing here today. And if you want to support this channel, make sure you like and subscribe and tell your friends to subscribe as well. And I'm really glad that um, today's episode is going so well. I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your cooking. Bye now.